hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video so um people's princess has been finished so i am on to um trying to get a little bit further with my customs of charlie and isabel um i had a bit of a break from it because it is very confetti heavy so that's why I went and did the People's Princess because I was just getting a bit infuriated <laughs> by the amount of confetti which you can get in a custom. Um, so today is going to be a whipping chat and I am going to be doing my beautiful doggy paintings. So let me think what colour tray would I like to use today. I'm going to go, ooh, let's go... Mm, mm. pastel green this is actually the old pastel green um that we used to used to do um we have more of a mint pastel green now because it's just so much better quality filament so there is a bit of a difference in the color um this one is more bluey um but this is for an order so <laughs> The ones I have on my shelf is this one. Um, and I have actually done a bit of this section before I put it away. So this is the first time working on this painting in weeks, months, ages. So let me zoom you in and just get it reset up on the, the screen. It's a bit hard this one as well because I've done like the long way of doing the sections just because it fits the width of the painting better. Um, so, let's have a look. Let me zoom out a bit because that is way too far away from me. So I'm gonna have to just do it like that. Um, and I actually have my uh, storage done in alphabetical and symbol order for this just because with the whole confettiness of it, I just couldn't find what I was looking for. Um, so, it's just so tricky to pick which colour I want to do because I, I want to do the one that stands out and it's the most obvious for me. But I also need to think about doing down here first because if I go up there I'm putting my hand on sticky. Let's do um, the um, brackets. Do the brackets. So... This is 3033. Now these diamonds are absolutely amazing. That is one incredible thing about this painting. The diamonds are like perfect. Um, they're all the same size. They're the perfect size for um, for the, the square that I'm putting them on. They are beautiful diamonds. I don't think, though, I will be putting them when I am decutting this in my nicer bags just because I actually think that they'll end up being a bit bigger than all the other diamonds. But I might, you know, I'll definitely see. Um, I don't know why I'm single placing. I can use my multi place. I picked this pen. Because it has a multi-placer, but I also, I don't know, sometimes I think with squares, the multi-placing can be more of a hindrance. We'll see how I get on, because I haven't done this in ages. So I do just need to get back into the swing of things, I think. Yeah, with squares, the reason multi-placing can be a bit, for me, a bit more of an issue is because the one that I've got, that it's four, but it fits four perfectly for round, not necessarily square. I think I'm going to single place today, um, which then obviously takes longer and it's a square, so it already takes long enough, which is just why I get a bit fed up with them sometimes. So, oh, I am feeling a bit rough today, I'm not going to lie, because I was at my mum and dad's last night, 
drinking with my auntie and uncle who've come from Newcastle. It was a nice night. I didn't have too much, I just had a few shots. I'm not like usually if I've had too much. I'm sure some of you have heard the stories if you have listened to my whipping chats in like September. I'm a very like sick drunk. Like if I if I've been drunk I know about it, so the next day. And she's not like what I am right now. But just I feel a bit tired. I think it makes you feel just tired and a bit off when I've had anything to drink. But I do have housework to do. Fun times. Um yeah. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, so my week pretty uneventful to be fair. It's been the week before half term, so I've just been really tired, just trying to trying to push on to um, get to the end of the half term, which we've done. So I'm on a break. Uh, <clears throat> I did find out though this week, annoyingly, that the carpet a due on the 24th which is the Thursday of this week but that means that they'll probably be fitted the week after which is the week after I've been on half term which is annoying um, because it would be a bit easier for me and James were both home because we're going to have to move things this time which we didn't have to do the first time because we didn't buy anything um, purposefully so we didn't have to move anything but I mean what it is now it's nearly March so by the time it'll be fitted it'll basically be March and I can't live in a house with like nothing for that length of time it's just too long so we obviously bought things we haven't bought everything we've still got a, a day bed for the spare the the second bedroom spare room <laughs> uh, to buy but that wasn't necessary we only bought like basically what was necessary um, <clears throat> to start just living with a bit more ease I mean technically this desk technically wasn't necessary but I use it so 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 much it makes my life so much easier and it was just the case of being able to put things away as well <clears throat> being able to have my stuff in a drawer or on a shelf is just a huge a huge like relief so we did it and so we're going to have to live with the consequences when it comes to the carpet being um, fitted in the sense that we are going to have to move everything around. Oh, there's a tiny, teeny tiny disformed one. I get hardly any um, disformed ones in this though, like I said the drills are amazing. So yeah, hopefully, well, let me think. So next week's Whip and Chat, I should be saying to you, we've got a date when it's going to be sorted. And that will be so, so, so amazing. Because then as well, we can not just get the carpet sorted, we can get the settee, which I'm dying for. Because it's just going to, oh, I forgot what it's like to sit on a sofa. No word of a lie, right now, I literally, I've forgotten what it's like to have a sofa in a house. Oh, it's gonna be my dream. It's gonna be amazing. Can't wait. It's the little things in life, and that little thing is just to have a settee. So, that's what I want. So that was that, and then, yesterday so yesterday was saturday i'm filming this on the sunday 
me and my mum went to Ikea because I told you about my mirror, my um, glamour mirror, my Hollywood mirror that bust. I got a new one that came this week. Um, so I put the new one and I gave my mum the old one because it is only slight, like it only was one light that wouldn't show the warm LED through it. So it was just cool. My mum really doesn't care so she was like well I'll, I can use it, that's fine, doesn't impact me. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't have cared too much if like I'd had it for a while but having it and only using it for a couple of weeks I was like this isn't right I need to fend them up because you shouldn't be getting a product and it breaking like that within a couple of weeks and only maybe four or four, four or five uses of it as well so there's that so basically my mum wanted a uh, she didn't have a proper dressing table but she's been asking my dad to have one for god knows how long and he's always like oh make do with what you've got make do with what you've got but then when i've given her this mirror she actually needs one now because it wouldn't fit on what she's already got which was a uh, tv stand in her bedroom that's what she was using as a dressing table so it was like a corner thing and it wouldn't have fit the whole mirror on so we went to ikea me and mum i also had my car serviced so we dropped off the car went to ikea um car still wasn't done so we went to the range and we just had like a nice like morning just me and mum and then picked up the car oh and this is a good story for you so, um, a few weeks ago, I got a phone call from um, <clears throat> a company called Emac, which is the company that does the service plan for me. So I'm on a service plan with my car, where I pay monthly something like £13 um, a month, and that covers me for, for the length of the plan, uh, it covers me my services and it also covers well actually the one that I was paying didn't cover my MOT although they gave it me for free last time by accident so that was quite good but yeah they, they, they now cover you for your MOTs and your services which I think is really good because we all know services can be quite expensive well they're like 100 in the region of like 100 to 200 pound depending if it's like a major service or a minor service or whatever and sometimes it's just one of them things where it might <clears throat> you never know if it's going to come around at a time where you just don't have that cash like to hand or you know you really need it for something else so <clears throat> i personally think like i really like my service plan and i think that for me it's a really good good thing but I got phoned up from the the service plan company so Emacs so this is nothing to do with Evans House Show where I get my car serviced it's just that the, that's their plan provider they use and this woman turns around and says yep you, so your service plan is due for renewal or you can cancel it or whatever but if you want to renew it you can renew it for £26 a month I was like, what? That's, oh, in fact, I think actually £29 a month because <clears throat> the woman at the dealership yesterday brought it up. £29 a month. I said, that's over double what I'm paying now. What, what on earth would cause it to double? And the woman's like, well, you know, the price of them goes up every year, so it's, it's accounting for the price that your service has increased, so inflation essentially. And also that the the duration that you're paying, 
apparently last time you paid it over 40 months for the 36 but this time it's just the 36 months and I'm like I've got a maths degree I can point blank say to you that that doesn't account for an over double increase in price and over 100% increase in price just doesn't um, <clears throat> the prices of services have not doubled in the last three years they just haven't um, so the woman was just like well can't say anything this is just the price of it can't get you any cheaper so I said well not bothered then and I said I'll I'll speak to them when I um, I go in for my service and I'll see if they can put me on a cheaper cheaper plan she was like well they can't and I was like well I don't care I'm not having it at that price thank you um, and then so that was like that um, and then I went in for the service and when I went in to collect my car, the, the woman at the desk was like, oh, your service plan's run out, do you know? And I said, yeah, I've had a phone call. And she says, let me guess, they quoted you something ridiculous. And I said, yeah, they did. So she said that they knew about this because there was one woman, one poor elderly woman, that had been told she needed to pay um, like £50 a month and because you know some some elderly you know sometimes they're just very trusting shall we say said okay and then when she went in for the service you know they found out what she was paying they were like no that's not right and got it sorted for her but apparently there's been lots of people where they've been ringing up and um, telling them that their service plans are like a ridiculous price and she brought up what I'd been quoted and the total plan price was like £800. It was ridiculous. So she was like, ah, let me just do you the correct quote because God knows what's going on with them. I think this woman was just, didn't know what she was doing. The woman that was on the phone. And she's like, look, this, I've got it, yeah, it's, it's, £16 a month so yeah it's gone up by £3 but that is to account for inflation and also that includes your MOTs as well now so I'm like yeah that sounds more like it I will uh, I'll go for that thank you very much so she sorted that one out for me but just you just can't believe it can you like oh inflation and spreading it over four less months uh, out of out out of 36 months by the way that's a ninth like ridiculous I can't even I can't even describe but it's been sorted and I think I'm gonna and I said this to the lady and the service plan's really good because you can just swap it over to any car so, because I think I'm going to get a new car this year, but that'll come later on when, most likely, I'll do it when I've secured a contract for, for a job next year. Which hopefully will be soon, because I am starting to apply for them. So, fingers crossed, guys, and then I can finally get rid of the tin can torpedo, as I call it. I have a Citroen C1. It's a tin can. It's an old one as well. It's a 61 plate. I'm ready for a new car. I've had this since passing my test seven years ago. So, definitely ready for a new one, I think. Anyway, um, that's it, I think. Oh, apart from really, really good news. Well, if you, if you call it, but basically... Um, I should have a little niece by the next time I speak to you because 
James's sister who is pregnant with her second child has been told that she um, needs to be induced. So she's going to be induced this week if she's not already had it obviously. So I'm very excited for that one. But yeah, that's all that I have to, well, I don't have to, but that's all that I want to like tell you about for this week, or I've got to tell you about. I'm just looking for the iPad, where on earth did I put it? Oh, it's on the side. Because I'm going to get up some of the comments that have been put on YouTube um, that I have not got through yet. And let's see, I've not done any other video in yet, so... I should be able to go for as long as I I desire. Um getting through as many comments as I can. So do 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 I think we were on this one so if i am repeating it then so be it um so on the kitting down of my row diamonds painting so that was the mystery let me just save my memory card yes remember to do it um, <laughs> So on the kitten down of my mystery painting from Row Diamonds, Liz, Liz Harris, who is great, she put down, they're so cute, the one she got was a pentagram, really not my thing, I guessed it straight away, all I could think while completing it was, what a waste of pretty gems, oh, she would have loved the fox. Well, I'm a mathematician, <laughs> so a pentagram would have been would have been nice for me. I would have I would have liked that. Anything with shapes. Um, she also said that she got a box from Poundland. Um, I feel like I did do these last week because. So she's on about getting gift boxes. This is for um, special drill storage because I don't currently have anything for them because that was like my first sort of painting but I wanted a smaller box because I'm never going to have as many as I am for regular drills. She was saying that Poundland you can get a gift box that's a bit smaller. Um, I have actually found something it was from uh, the Empty Box Company on Etsy. I think this is why I'm saying I think that I've done this um, message and I think it's because basically last week I had it where they they sent me an email saying that it's going to be five weeks but on it see it says it should be dispatched within a couple of days so I was super confused um, and I emailed them but on Tuesday they got back to me and basically said that that shouldn't have gone out essentially that message it wasn't for me it was for people that have got uh, big wedding dress boxes to be done um that it would be five weeks but they should know that it'll take a while like it would probably say that um but what they said for me was the only issue is they currently don't have in stock the uh, paper for the the color that i've chosen so they literally sent me a list to the website that says pick any other and they have quite a lot. She said pick any other design that you, you so desire and um, we can do it for you. So I've picked the same sort of design just rather than being in cream because it, it was a cream design. I've picked the same one but it was in silver instead. And that's been done and has been posted. So next week or whenever I can fit it in with the schedule, 
there may be a video of me sorting that one out. I've already been to Abbey Craft and got all my bits and bobs and been to the range and got my film board. I'd, I've already made the labels, I've just not printed them out. So I feel on top of it. But yeah, that that's good. Um, but it is good to know though guys, so if you do find anything from Poundland, I did actually go into Poundland um, to have a look, but I never saw anything in my Poundland, so but have a look at Poundland, guys. Um, <clears throat> so on my whipping chart, Liz also said that when they got their first house, her and her husband, they had everything second hand. Um, and then when they moved to a new house and started getting stuff, it was wonderful. Enjoy your new house and your new things. Yeah, we are in a privileged position. I, I would say it's privileged that <coughs> we can get new things, to be honest. I mean, there is always opportunity to get second-hand things. But for me, um, because of the time that we live in where there are your interest freeze on a lot of your big products um you you know for example a settee you you can just if you you know especially if you've got a mortgage you've obviously got the finances to afford a mortgage because there's a lot of background checks that happen now they don't just hand them out willy-nilly um you know you most definitely uh able to and i'm not saying as in you can afford it every month i'm just saying you would most likely um get approved for a five year interest free or four year interest free so if, if you have that extra a month for me getting a settee or a bed on that um or your carpets is is worth it and like I said, kindly, you know, my mum, she bought our sofa on that. So we didn't even have to buy it because she wanted to do something for us. Wanted to to, to buy us something, um, but didn't have the, the cash out right. So that worked for her. Um, and James's mum and dad have been very generous as well. Um, where they have bought us like our bed and things like that so if not I don't think we'd have had second hand things we'd have just um, bought really really cheap so we actually did buy a really really cheap bed frame um, from Argos when we knew that the carpets were taking forever because we didn't want our nice new bed um, to come while we didn't have carpets down and it was just um, concrete but we bought this bed frame for like £150 I think it was for a king size which to be honest buying second hand it could still if you wanted like a velvet one or something like that could still be so we just did something like that and then you know furniture wise we'd have just brought things from from my house so like we've got a telly but if we if we didn't buy the telly we would have uh, just used the one that is up in the bedroom that was from my bedroom in the old house we'd have put that downstairs um, so it is nice that we were able to buy new things, but I, I completely know that that is because I'm in quite a privileged position. So, and I've worked hard to be here and be able to do it and I'm very, I am proud of myself, if I can say that. I'm proud of myself um, and James obviously. For, for working hard, both of us, in getting to the place where we can have our own home and, and buy ourselves our nice new home things. Um, so yeah. 
Um, so Rhonda Mitchell on the uh, colourful dandelions painting that I did said she's got that one but hasn't started it yet but it looks beautiful. It was a very confetti painting in square so very similar to this so as you can imagine stressed me out a little bit. Um, just because it's not as easy as it you have to actually think like it's all right when you're just doing like these i'm doing jays in all one area but then it's when you have to stand back and go okay have i missed anything and you start missing them and you can't see them and your eyes have to wander i'm probably doing two big sections but i've got to catch my mum up <laughs> my mum's also doing this painting at the same time as me because i bought was both one and um she's well she's doing them she's doing the same size sections but she's doing them uh short ways so she has done about up to well she's done she's done most of charlie's face so she's done like here all the way to the end and she's like up to here now so if i can get these couple of sections done then um i'll be on my way but i am just doing my big Dan paintings like this on the weekend during the week I have um the so currently there's Nala and uh Simba that I've got for for the last couple of weeks that I'm doing so that's the type of thing that I work on during the week um although i am off so that's because the sections are smaller on that um so when i'm working and i'm coming in at like eight well, i can sit down and diamond pay at like eight o'clock after i've had my tea and things um you know i don't get a lot of this done that and it would just i'd be on this section for all you know all week really because I wouldn't get too much of it done so I've done that where I've got a little painting that I can do and I can do a little section a night and um, so it makes me feel like I'm I'm getting somewhere because that would also stress me out if, if I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere with it um But I'm on half term, so I might just stick with this painting. Um, Liz says, great selection. This was on the unboxing from New Craft Day. Um, congratulations on 900. Yes, I hit 900 subscribers. Currently, while filming this, I am on 930, so I only need... 70 more subscribers to hit my goal of a thousand. I'm so excited and um, hopefully it will be soon. So if you are watching this and you've got to this point, half an hour in, <laughs> um, please, 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 if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, I don't just do whipping chats, although you may like whipping chats. I also do unboxings, kitten ups, kitten downs, the whole shebang. Basically anything related to diamond painting, I do. Um, so if you if you want that, if you like that, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's get to a thousand because that would make my year. Uh, Arissa Ortega says that she likes New Craft Day. Um, she's finished three canvases from them already nice another one waiting to be kitted up and some paintings on its way home and she's really happy with the quality yeah i haven't done them yet so i'm not you know i can't say what it's like to do them but from what i've seen i really like I, you know new craft day is a good company they have reached out to me a couple of times i've done a couple of unboxings i've got several paintings from them that I am looking forward to be doing but 
I'm using a decision wheel to pick my, my little paintings to do but you know they are smaller if I could do one every two weeks that is 26 paintings a year of the small ones that I can get done so you know I'm sure I'd get to it at some point I've got to do that because I've got way too many um, from companies <laughs> which I'm, I'm very grateful for but it's getting to the point now where it's getting a bit um, daunting at the amount that I've got to do but I, I'm reluctant to let any go because I you know I sat there for ages like looking through the sites choosing the paintings I like um, so I like them all, I do. So, you know, I want to do them all. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of paintings, so I need to get down them. Um, but hopefully a new craft day one will come up soon. Um, da -da 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 -da. Cindy Stevens, hi Cindy, says that um, the kitten up Fuji Flora was the first video of mine that she watched. Um, great job. My favourite videos are kitten up, kitten down and whipping chats. So if you like that Cindy, what can I say, that's basically the majority of the videos that I do. Um, with some unboxings in there as well when I, I have some to unbox. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much Cindy. The kitten up Fuji Flora is actually the um, most viewed video on my channel. <laughs> It's a, it's a mammoth one as well, it's like an hour and 50 minutes and to be honest it's the, it's, it's the number one that I think if I ever think of a video that I did and I had no idea what I was doing, that one was that video. I had it in the Elizabeth Ward storage, it has 66 colours in it so I was trying to do the math to get all 66 colours in the containers. I really didn't want to because usually with this storage, so I'll show you, I've got it here. Um, usually with this, I don't really have to go into extra bags. I have this time, because even this one has like four, 45 colours in. So and some of them have quite a lot in. So I have had to do a few extra bags but they were already in zipper bags so I just put in what I had and then my little extras for this painting but I don't really like going into extras and with Fuji Floor I had loads and I was trying my best to get them all in the, the storage but it didn't work um, and then you know I was spilling stuff and everything was going all over and I was doing it wrong and so if you just want to have a good laugh at someone basically shoving on the internet how much of a fail they are then go watch that um yeah and if you like long videos so you can sit and do de de down painting too it's definitely a long one you know so uh silver shoes says uh, so this was on the review and de-kitting of the Diamond Art Studio samples. So she said, it might be a silly question, but I'm new to diamond painting. Why would you get samples? Is it because if you can see if you like the company's products before committing to much bigger ones? Um, yeah, so so. Um, so for them ones, I bought them samples because they were really cute. Um, and I wanted to try Diamond Art Studio. Uh, and they were tiny so they were really quick to do but they were also quite cheap for I was hoping at very good quality diamond painting so they were like set two for £7.50 um, so that's that's great um, for, for your higher quality you know not mass produced stuff um, and it was a new UK company that had just come out and I was excited to try them and you know I have and then I got a big one from them I got um, the excited uh, duckling so that's what you do you know buy smaller when you first I, I, I definitely think don't 
don't go to a, a new company and buy a gigantic one that would probably be a bad idea especially if you ended up hating it um having said that from the diamond den i did just buy the first one i bought uh, i haven't even done it yet i've done the smaller one first but i bought a custom of me my mum and my nana but that had to be huge so i went for 60 by 80 yeah probably not going to get around to that one quick because big paintings the idea is i would do one um on the six week holidays uh, and that's it because <laughs> fuji flora which was huge took me the entirety of my holidays to do essentially so i've got a list of like huge paintings in my stash that I can only really do on the holidays anyway so then Silver Shoes did say so she says I know this video is several months old now so this was on the Elise light pad unboxing that I got gifted um, and she wonders if I now use it regularly um, it's just that I'm really struggling to find a light pad I like have you got any recommendations other than this one? So I don't actually use that one anymore. I gave it to my mum actually after I did the video. Um, because she needed a light pad. Uh, so I did. I didn't use it really. Um, it was too. For me it was just the, the clip on it. It didn't really go with the way I down painted. I like to roll it over the top. And I couldn't really do it with the clip. So. I didn't use it that much, but it wasn't bad. I like pads. Okay. Um, but I do use, as you can see, these that are um, from... Oh, I'm like yawning. They're from Santa Direct on Amazon. And I've got the A3 and my mum's using the A2. She's nicked that one off of me as well. But... I actually will be getting for my birthday um, both the A3 and A4 um, Huion wireless light pads um, simply because I feel like I don't see James at all um, currently <laughs> in an evening so I want a diamond paint, but essentially I have to sit up here. I tried doing it on the bean bags before. I hated it. That's another reason I needed this desk. Whereas I really enjoy sitting and diamond painting here. But when I'm gonna have my sofa, I, it will be more comfortable again for me to go sometimes and sit down on my sofa. It'll be a bit of a or maybe sometimes sit up here, sometimes sit on the sofa. But I won't be able necessarily to run the cable for the light pads. So I thought it'd be ideal to get um, a wireless light pad. So when that comes, it is a birthday present from James. But I will be doing like an unboxing on my channel when I open it. Uh, da, 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 da. So uh, I did do a open chat um this was not last week this was a couple of weeks ago um so this is how behind i am on comments apologies um although i do respond to some of them that's why i don't know where i am because realistically i should leave them unresponded to until i get to them on a whip and chat but the issue is i was so far behind on whip and chats i don't want people to think i'm not responding to them for six weeks so hopefully I can get up to date on these in this video and then you know I can leave it not responded to until I've done the whip and chat and then I'll respond and it, and it won't be like people being left without a response for ages. Um, but yeah I am far memory carning saving again. So um, on that one 
We had a TZP question said, love this, thank you. Crafty JJ Newton said, thank you for sharing, God bless, love the painting you are working on. Yes, that is the People's Princess, I have finished it. And I'm pretty certain that should be coming to you on Wednesday. Uh, the finished product, the finished image and the kitten down of that. Um, so that's exciting. I really loved doing her, it was beautiful and it was really nice at the end where it was very blocky but had a nice um, mixture of colours but they were just in blocks, it's nice. Uh, hopefully when I get onto Charlie, she'll be like that because she's all black. <laughs> so I can see some of the just the black here um, and then Robin uh, Nicklin said that she met her so Princess Diana met Princess Diana but that was a great experience that you know you'll never forget the only people that I've met that are famous are the Chuckle Brothers which you know, my non-UK viewers, in fact some of my UK viewers will be like, who the hell are the Chuckle Brothers? Um, and then the non-UK viewers will be like, yeah, who the hell are the Chuckle Brothers? Um, look here, they are class. They are very British. Um, they were on, was it CBBC or CBBS? I can't remember. Basically, Kids TV. Two brothers, they're from Rotherham, from where I'm from. Um, and they're just they're just legends to a lot of a lot of uh, the UK. Um, poor Barry uh, passed away a couple of year ago now. Um, but yep, yeah, met them both a couple of times. That's it. That's the only celebrity I've ever met. Yep. Um, so. So when I uh, put my small painting stash into the Tiny Decisions app, so like I said, the decision maker, the decision wheel, um, for my small paintings, the ones that I've been gifted, uh, Vicky says it's a really neat idea, I might try this as well. I didn't actually come up with the idea, I think a lady came up with it and then now quite a few YouTubers use it. Um, so yeah, it's not my idea, what I've seen on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it is a it is a decent decent thing, you know, for when, like that, when I've got a lot of paintings and I can't decide. Sometimes I have a painting that I get and I'm like, I need to do this now. And I choose them. Sometimes, you know, I can't. I used to have to choose my paintings based on size so I could put them in my storage and um, also you know I tried to do more of the ones in boxes like some of my damn dark club ones because I didn't have infinitely many infinite space to store them all so I had to think about that so I rarely ever just had a choice of oh what would I like to do I feel like if it was just a choice of oh what would I like to do like it kind of is now I don't really have I have a preference to make that choice um so that's where the decision app comes in because that it can choose can choose for you um and you you, you do what what it is and then you get around to all of your pretty paintings that you've got in your stash don't you so and you don't have to make that choice because I'm really bad at making decisions. You ask me what I want for dinner, I'm like, uh, I don't know. My classic response is, oh, I don't know, to everything. James hates it because <laughs> he's then the one that has to make the decisions. But he might say something, I'll be like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want that. <laughs> so I know exactly what I don't want. I just don't know what I do want. But luckily all the paintings in my stash are ones that I've chosen so regardless to, to what comes up I would be happy with them because I want to do them all. Uh, da -da. So um, 
when I unbox Snow White and Robot Repair. So this is literally seven days ago. This was um, last week. Woo! We ran a week. Um, crafting with Kay. Kay's also great. You can check out Kay's YouTube as well. She says she loves a lot of Spangler work. I do like Randall Spangler. Um, he is he is a ledge. That means legend to those that don't know. Um, yeah, I like the Jacklins. They're cute, aren't they? Um, I did want to collect them all, but then Diamond Art Club started like producing way too many in one go, and makes a lot of them limited edition. I just don't have the, the funds to collect them all anymore. So, you know. I, I am a bit on diamond paints now. There are a few that are like limited edition or final edition that I just have to have. But it is a rarity that like some of them I look at now and I'm like, just let it go, Alicia. You can't keep up. You can't keep up with all the paintings that they're doing now because they're just getting huger and huger and they're getting more of a range and they're constantly producing them out. And there's some pretty ones. Unless it is one that I just absolutely need to have um, and would be, I just think how upset would I be if it became like the Mandy Manzano princesses, and, you know, they were going for hundreds and hundreds and I'm sat there like, I have just wished I'd, I'd have got it um, when they were there. So unless, unless I think something like that, I don't. I don't bother anymore um, trying to get them and I will just wait until you know eventually one day I get down my stash and I need some more then when I need some more to do I can pick some some more when I get further down my stash I'll, I'll start buying them again I think but I've got way too many it's getting horrendous because I just I feel very overwhelmed oh I don't know how long I can do this for now. I'm just getting starving. So let's, let's blast through these comments. I don't get too many comments in a week, so we should be able to do these and then I should be able to go for breakfast. <laughs> go get my breakfast. Um so crafty JJ Newton again says, Oh wow, love the robot painting. Thanks for sharing. Yep, love to share my new paintings with you guys. I do love the robot one. That's for James that because he's a robotics engineer. So he's one of the draglings trying to fix the robot. That's how I see it. It's cute isn't it? So I love cute paintings. Right so um so the, the painting the tiny decisions app uh, video Liz says that's very organised. Thanks Liz. Most of my life isn't organised. Um, so it's nice to know some of it is. I think that's all the ends. See this is the bit I hate. Oh, I've seen a J. I've done J haven't I already. And I've not placed a J. That's annoying. I just have to do that at the end. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> to just pick out one and then I've, I've lost it by the time I've picked one out. Um, so, um, so for the whipping chat for the 14th, so this was last week, wasn't it? I think, um, Vicky says that she remembers the kitten down video with my mum, that was hilarious. So that is the video that I was talking about, um, uh, where my mother <laughs> basically turns around and says, uh, what number is 310? 310 mum. She's on about the DMC number. She's like, what number is 310? It's 310 mum. But that is because like most of us diamond painters, like 310 is like that colour that we just don't even bother referring to anymore as black. It is, it's jet black. That is what 310 is. It's the jet blackest of the blackest. But we, you know, I just call it 310. <laughs> okay. Right, on to 310, not black. I don't use the word black anymore, I just say 310. So, my mum just didn't think. She's like, what What number's 310? It's 310. Uh, 
she also said that she will get some metal multi multi places and give it a go definitely try it uh, I definitely think like I said for me sometimes they're better for round um, but yeah you can still do it with square I'm doing my Simba and Nala one with square it's just it depends what mood I mean I think like this now I think I could show you so these ones are quite good because they are quite correct size so if they are like the proper size the drills they shouldn't be a problem but if they if they have a lot of gaps um like some of the paintings do with square where they have quite they're quite gappy then multi-placing doesn't necessarily always work but I could multi-place now and because these square drills are really really nice it actually fits snugly like that that's a really like I don't even need to buff about with them because they're like super snug fit but I don't know I was in the mood I might do these multi-placing because they are they are going quite nice but I was in the mood to do this one like at the start of this whipping chat just a single place so um she also says that she has two painters on the go at the minute, a 40 by 50 black and white elephant and a 40 by 100 brown mum and baby elephant. Can you tell I love elephants? I love elephants too. Elephants are super cute. I've done an elephant painting and I would happily do another one. Because um, elephants are adorable, aren't they? Elephants have always been my favourite zoo animal. Um, since I was a little girl... They were always my favourites. My brother liked tigers or cats, big cats, so lions, tigers. And I was always like, I love elephants. And James, James likes um, giraffes because James is tall. So James, James sees himself as a giraffe. Whereas I don't see myself as an elephant. I actually see myself as a hippo, <laughs> which is the worst part because I am such a hippo such a little stubby thing with like a belly that's just lazy so I see myself as a hippo and then that's the cute thing because we just say that we are um, Gloria and Melman from Madagascar because they're in love aren't they they love each other Gloria and Melman so I say James is the Melman to my Gloria yeah, that's, that's cute, but really sad because I'm, I'm calling myself a hippo. But, yeah, my favourite are elephants. I'm trying to utter rubbish on her now. It's just a joke. Um, Jamie Widger says, what does whip mean? Whip means work in progress. Um, so this that I'm doing now is a work in progress because it's not finished, but it's already been started. So it is a whip. Whip, 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 whip. Um, to be honest, I would say, to be fair, with a diamond painting, I would class a whip as, as long as, as soon as it's kitted up, because that's you starting the the painting. Really, that's the starting point. So, for diamond painting, I would say a whip is any paintings that you've got kitted up and that aren't finished. Um, but I am doing a whip, so I'm doing my work in progress, and I am having a chat so I'm doing a whip and chat and that's the terminology that we, we use in the diamond paint community some people say they're just doing a diamond paint with me that's one that I hear as well but for me I'm just whipping and I'm just chatting so yeah um have a look let me place this one and then I'll look at the next one um so kitten up kitten says good to see you back and super happy the house move went okay I agree I don't use the toolkits anyway so it's not a buying feature I worry about just an added extra that I may not use anyway so that was when we were talking about um somebody's comment saying that they wanted to buy some new paintings just for the toolkit because they really want one 
and I just said be careful because they're not like rolled out to every painting yet we were on about Diamond Art Club here because it was the Diamond Art Club um, I think it was I got the ones in the friends pictures and I just said that you know if you are just buying for the toolkit then I wouldn't yet just because you're not guaranteed to get a new toolkit in your painting um whereas you know if you wanted to buy the painting anyway then and you get the the extra toolkit then that that's a Brucey bonus then in tip but I wouldn't want people and I don't want to be the one giving people misinformation that oh if you go buy a diamond art kit now um diamond art club kit that you'll get this new toolkit because that's not necessarily true um you might not so just bear in mind but if you buy the ones that you've seen me unbox with the new toolkit then you should be okay so if you bought the friends ones they will have the new toolkits in um so Oh, Liz says, love listening to you. You do make me smile. I think I'm pretty pessimistic, to be fair. So I don't know what you lot are smiling about. Um, because I'm always whinging. Um, but she says, she says, I do make her smile, which is nice. Um, but she hasn't tried Harbour Freights or Elizabeth Wards yet. She likes the cases of bottles. Um, they have screw lids, so don't pop open when dropped. And I said to that, well, Liz, Liz is, if you want to smile while listening to someone, go listen to Liz, because she is the sweetest, loveliest lady ever. Like, you know, when she has a giggles to herself, Liz, you are just a legend. Just, it's a fact. You make me so happy when I listen to your videos. I barely ever comment, though, so I do have to apologise, Liz, to that, because, and anybody, really, I am watching secretly snoopily watching you all um if you if you do comment and stuff like that and you have a youtube channel i will be watching your videos but the thing is i watch i'm really bad at commenting because i watch while i'm diamond painting and i just let it roll on to like the next ones and stuff because i'm lazy and can't be bothered to to stop what i'm doing diamond painting so um but I, I do make sure I subscribe if I if I see yeah, and then I just watch whatever's on my subscribe list. Um, so I will be subscribed to people, but I definitely you know I I love Liz. I think she's so lovely. Um, but in terms of the storage, yeah. So the bottles don't pop open because they're screws, uh, so they are great. And also these. So the this is the. No, this is the proper Elizabeth Ward, the one I'm using now. I do have the knockoffs as well, but you can tell from the handles which ones are the real and knockoffs. To be fair, there's zero difference. Um, I can guarantee you, Liz, I have dropped these a few times. They have stood the test. They have indeed. So, um, I love both. I really do love this storage just because it holds more. Um, and I can get, like... An entire painting most of the time kitted up in the storage and I'm talking big paintings as well um, like Snow Queen for example I didn't have a single extra bag and that is a 42 by 97 centimeter painting and I didn't have a single extra bag that had to worry about misplacing or anything uh, of extra drills whereas when I kit up in the bottle storage a lot a lot of colours tend to need um, need the extra bags um, where I've not been able to fit all the drills in now I don't mind with that with the bottle storage at all um, and the reason I don't mind that is because it has the little pouches at the front um, so I'm just trying to see, I've only got a big one at the moment, well, let me get it out. Uh, so this is Rainbow Little Dragon, um, that I haven't even started yet, but it has 
so at the front it has a pocket so even though I've got a ton of extra bags they just fit in the uh, bag that goes at the front um, so like I can fill up the containers um, so I don't mind the bottle storage at all because of that. Um, whereas if I have to have, I have to have like storage where I need spares, but they've got nowhere to put them. That's when I start to be like, oh, this is a bit, a bit annoying. Um, but I think about that. I, I am very picky with my storage, um, and I, I know what I like. I think I think a lot of us do. We know what we like, and for me. It has to, has to, has to be separate pots. That's a has to. It has to have secure lids. And it has to basically, um, basically be good to like have so you can have your entire painting kitted up in it. Um, so I don't really like the extra bags. I do have this, so like that, I do just have this little extra bag um, for my Elizabeth Ward. But to be fair, these could probably fit down in the little gaps that I have um, from where I've swapped and changed the, the boxes. But yeah, it is, I am not a a huge fan of every single storage it has to be the right storage for me and I do get wound up by some and I have had some I'm talking them uh, the the ones that have 28 in them and they're the little pots and they're in rows of four they went in the bin they were crap honestly they may work for you but I cannot deal with them I hate them so much I hate you with a passion uh, and I gave them to my mum because that's what she had to start diamond painting because uh, it was just what I had spare for her and she did her first little painting in them and then she bought bottle storage and then even then she was like oh I don't really like these and then the icing of the cake was when she was doing her strawberry daiquiri painting from Diamond Art Club she dropped them they all opened and all of the jewels went all over the floor. She did manage to finish it because Diamond Art could give you quite a few extras. So we did manage to pick them up and she would she would pick out the colours. <laughs> Bless her. Um, she made it where even though I did tell her, I was like, it has Oops Insurance Mum. I can just contact them and they can send you eight of the colours that you need. But she was like, no, I can finish it. Um, which she did. But from then, that storage kitted down, went in the bin. Okay, let's try and finish this because I think this is going, my camera might actually die. Um, so, this is on. So this is what came up yesterday. So we are very, very nearly the end. So on my unboxing up to DIY, another company that have already worked with me once and has decided to work with me again. Um, my Diamond Painting Journey says the new style printing is pretty simple. They print the image, then superimpose the symbols over it. Yeah, so that's what I say when I say that some of them have like the image on the background and then you just have the little circles with the symbols on. So when you're looking at it, um, you're not necessarily getting all one square or with just the DMC colour. But that does just mean, though, that when you look at the picture out of the box, it's not necessarily how it's going to look with the diamond paint in there because it'd be more detailed because you can see all the detail. But once you put your dots on, it might look a bit different. Um, Jeffrey Morrison says, nice canvases. Thank you for sharing. No worries, Jeffrey. Thank you for watching. Um, Amber of Many Crafts says she needs the A. I'm guessing that's A for Amber. Um, I had a painting with just, they do initial ones now that are really cute, that are like florally with a black background. So if you do like initial paintings, go watch my Up to, DI, Up to DIY unboxing and you can go on and you can see all the initials. Um, and then the last one, Working 
on the white wolf and lost my A13. It's a green and I have no clue what colour it is. Um, I thought I replied to this one but I didn't know. So Laura, this is from Laura Baker. If you have, and I need to think now because I can't remember, I think A13 is just the um, the canvas number. So that's just saying it's the 13th colour that they've got. But you need to look at the diamond dots number for that. So you should have a legend on your painting. You need to look at what um, the diamond dots number is. And then you can use that to find out what dmc number it is but if you find out what diamond dots number it is and i do have if i do have some um let me know yeah message me on like instagram facebook or email and i can send you some over if i've got it but i don't actually know from a13 because it is just the canvas number i can't help you quite yet i need to know what the diamond dots number is um so yeah I will write that for Laura, but if anybody else is ever confused, A13 is, they just, instead of just writing 1 to 13, they write A1, A2, A3, blah, blah, blah. So you just need to find out the diamond dots number for that. Um, but that is me getting to the end, yes, of my comments for this week. So next week will just be like the few comments that I get over the week, which is nice because it's not like... I need to stress about um, getting through them all because it should be quite easy to do so. Um, just while my camera's not flashing, I do just want to talk about um, things that I have uh, that you might not be aware of because I'm really, really bad at talking about them in videos and to be fair, I don't necessarily always like to I don't know self promote I'm not really into that uh, however some of the things that I do have aren't really aren't really self promotion um, but some of you might want to know and don't know that it exists so essentially um, if you go on to my videos and you go on to my description i'm just getting one up now so you might hear me um oh you might hear me blast out at some point i try not to um ba -ba -ba. okay so if you go on to my description in my videos um i have a um a link section at the bottom so i do have a link tree so you can go on and you can find um a lot of a lot of my links on my link tree that includes my affiliation links so there are some companies that i have affiliation links or discounts not necessarily both just because i have a discount doesn't mean i'm an affiliate doesn't mean i get anything from you using that it's just a it's just a nice discount for you to have um whereas some of them are affiliate links so if if you did want to purchase uh from that website if you clicked on that link i would get an extremely small commission which is just you know really helpful to me um once again, as you can see, I don't like self-promoting. Um, so that you can find on my link tree. Then I also have social media. So this isn't really, really self-promoting. Um, but I do have, so I have an Instagram. Uh, so if you want to see what I'm working on during the, the week or whatever, then go on to my Instagram Um and then you can see see what I'm up to without having to wait for a whip and chat um, or to wait for an, a kitten down like I post progress pictures like after I've done a, a, a line after I've done a section um, I also have a Facebook diamond painting group 
Now I did this as a support group but I also wanted to basically have it so anybody that is a YouTuber, a diamond painting YouTuber can go on and can promote their own videos because I just think a lot of groups out there they don't like self promotion um, but it's nice to be able to to find other YouTubers that do diamond painting and because you get to know other people in the community it's just a nice thing I personally feel um, and I don't think there's any harm in it uh, you know I don't I don't want selling because necessarily um, or it's all right if it's a D stash but I don't want people just selling things unless they're an approved seller which I do have a list on there of approved sellers so like Prism are on there, Prism Diamond Paints, Diamond Den, uh, Brimwood Crafts which is where I get some of my pens from, they're all on there as approved sellers, they're more than welcome to sell but you're not going to get bombarded with it but once again there's a lot of Facebook groups that won't allow even them to post on and it's like why? They're approved, like, I've got stuff from them, I trust them, they're a legitimate seller so they should be able to post. Um, so it's just things like that that you can find on the Dan Payton support group. But please, if you are a YouTuber and you do post your own, just give a bit back. You know, watch, watch and subscribe to the others. That's all I ask is that, you know, you don't just do it all for your self gain and, and not to, to see other people and help them out. Um, and then I also have Hatfield Design um which is mine and James's company that do the the trays. So I do sometimes say, yeah, this is the tray. Um, but I don't actually know if all of you guys know that we actually make these. Um, there is going to be something really, really new coming. I'm trying not to pick them ones up when I'm, I'm deciding on my trays because we are ever so slightly changing it and the way that we slightly run our business. But currently you can go on um they are trays with lids that just clip on this one was a bit of a um faulty one that the lid's not on secure enough so that's why i've got it i tend to have the faulty ones um but you get a tray with a lid and a stopper and when you put it on our very unique design is that it's a funnel um there but it makes a diamond on the front so this is your diamond shape um so yeah we have that um just quickly though because my battery is now flashing um i also do have uh, you can buy me a coffee or send um through paypal if you want to support the channel like i said i really don't like saying that too much but um it's just you know to help out with me making this content when you know I am really really busy all the time and also when I buy things so I've got content sometimes I'm not necessarily just buying because I've got the money to do so it's more to try and make this channel better um so you can obviously do that um but I've never mentioned that and I've never had anybody buy me a coffee so I don't mention it but of course if you do you will get a shout out on my channel um, but don't feel like that's me asking you to do it because I don't want to be like that um, and I think that's it so thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching I will just turn off the light pad and until next time guys see you in the next video